happened? I was shocked and ran to her. You aren't feeling well? She didn't speak, so I called 911. Her clothes look so hot. That's because you are wearing that. Take it. I'm James. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. I'll make a girlfriend before the summer ends. I started using social media to meet girls and I got to know this girl, Sylvia. I'll meet her today. She looks pure and cute. I'm so excited I can hang out with this cute girl. Anyway, today is so hot. It's more than 35 degrees Celsius. I should have changed the date. I wonder if she's alright. The meeting time is getting closer and I'm getting nervous. I'm wearing black clothes and have two bony tails. I got the message from her. And I was looking around to find a girl who's wearing black clothes and two ponytails. Huh? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. She was wearing a long sleeve costume in the middle of the summer. She's not a girl, isn't she? Everybody was looking at her like thinking, Aren't you hot? Wait, 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 hold on. Maybe she's not the one. Where is Sylvia? But the girl stood in front of me. Are you James? Talk to me. The girl I was going to meet was a cosplayer. Everybody was looking at me. I want to run away right now. I'm sweating a lot. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm James. I'm Sylvia. She's not smiling at all. Everybody's laughing and taking our pictures. Well, it's hot, so let's go to his store. We went to his store and just walked around. It's cool inside, but I'm sweating a lot because of her. Everybody's looking at me. The conversation doesn't last. I should do something. Is there any place you want to go? She ignored me. That's rude. I started walking fast. After walking around the store for minutes, she went to a restaurant. Once we finished eating, I'll go home. It's so hot outside and we both sweating a lot. She said nothing after saying hi. I was wondering if she's not hot. Why are you wearing long sleeves? I asked her. She said nothing. Hey, I looked back. And she was on the ground with lots of sweat. What happened? I was shocked and ran to her. You aren't feeling well? She didn't speak, so I called 911. Her clothes look so hot. That's because you are wearing that. Take it off before the ambulance comes. Once I tried to loosen her button. Disgusting! She slapped my hands. I was frustrated. I tried to make her feel less hot by using a towel. In a few minutes, the ambulance arrived. And we went to the hospital. She fell because she was dehydrated and had a heat stroke. It was because she was wearing too many clothes. Doctor said, you had to wipe her sweat and make her feel cooler as a first aid. I couldn't say she didn't let me do it. I deep sighed and waited her to feel better. I was told to go to her room and I went to. She looked frustrated. So I got mad and yelled, who the heck wears that many clothes in the middle of the summer? Not right now tried to stop me but continued I don't know if that's your hobby or whatever but if you can't take care of yourself stop wearing costumes that's your fault that you fell you gotta think about others then she grabbed my arm and said wait you still need something then she suddenly started taking off her clothes she was wearing underwears but it was my first time to see girls body so I got shy and looked away. What? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Look at my body. Her voice was shaking, and I looked at her body. From her chest to her stomach, there was a scar. I had heart disease when I was a kid. I had a surgery, and it left this scar. Because of this, I was bullied. It looks disgusting, doesn't it? She started crying. She also had scars on her wrist, which she tried to harm herself. They looked painful, so I couldn't look at them. When she said disgusting at that time, I tried to loosen up her clothes. She probably meant the scar looks disgusting. She said she was wearing long sleeves because she didn't show the scars on her wrist. Talking with you supported me while I was isolating myself. It was only on the internet. But you were so nice and wanted to see you. You were the first guy I'm hanging out with, so I got too excited. And I wanted to wear something cute. Sorry that I wore the costume and caused the problems. Goodbye. She wore her clothes and turned her back. I couldn't say anything. Your parent will pick you up, so wait here a bit. Yes. 
I started walking and trying to go home, but I stopped. I was surprised, but I didn't think it was disgusting. You must have had a hard time because of the scars. She grabbed her wrist and kept being quiet. I'll go home today, get some rest. Can I ask you out again? I want to know you better. Yes? Thank you. She looked happy and smiled at me. After a few days, I went to see her and she said, I didn't wear a costume this time, but long sleeves to protect my skin from the sun. She's trying to change. I said thank you because she came to see me in this hot weather. Later, I gave her some clothes. She's wearing long sleeves the whole year, but she started wearing the ones that are black and light material. Black covers your scars, so you don't have to wear a lot, and the material is for summer. So you still feel cool. Thank you. I'm so happy. She now enjoys going out without worrying about what others think. I'm also enjoying going out with her more. At the end of the day, I asked her to be my girlfriend. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. James, thank you. She smiled softly and I got a girlfriend for the first time. I'm glad I saved her who wanted to disappear. She's smiling next to me now.